Completing a voyage in Sea of Thieves is a simple enough endeavor. Vote on your quest, scoop it a loot, and turn it in before bloodthirsty pirates can sink you and take it for themselves. <laughs> Other pirates aside, there's really only one voyage that will truly test the mettle of an experienced crew. The Legend of the Veil. Riddles from senile NPCs, shipwreck graveyards, and a battle with a spectral fortress all make this endgame quest feel like the pirate lord is torturing you for his own amusement. <sighs> Did I mention the tornado that tells everyone on the seas where to find you? Completing this voyage with a seasoned crew is hard enough. And let's just say that the crewmate I was setting out with to conquer this quest wasn't exactly, uh, experienced. Legend of the Veil? I will veil it, dude. I will unveil it. We're gonna vote right here. We're gonna vote to represent the Athenas. Thank you. Did you, ju did you just vote again? Oh, <laughs> Well, we managed to get our flag up at least, but now it was on to the next phase of preparation, stocking up the ship. Taking storage crate, storage crate taken. Go up to these and just drain them. Are you kidding me? These have sh in them? <laughs> <laughs> like all the time? Yes. Oh my God. First we get the ale, six barrels of ale, Maureen. I mean, Tanya. After embarrassing himself in front of Tanya, Mr. Silver finished plundering the island's barrels for much needed supplies. Our ship was well stocked and it was time to fail it up. Or so I thought. Wait, should we celebrate? Yes. Hold X for ale. We're killing it. It's not what? sauce too much, okay? We got a lot to do today. Just a little sip. Just a little... Oh, oh, oh. oh I just gotta put something in my stomach. Feel better. Give me one more. Wait, wait a second. <laughs> Yeah, you wait a second, Smoke Silver! You emptied all the storage crates! What? what do you You're mean? You're supposed to store no, them! No, no, no! They're supposed to store them! They're all empty! They're all empty! You're supposed to store them! You're supposed to store the supplies, not take okay. them! Apparently, my supply lesson had fallen on deaf ears. What the heck was he doing when I was explaining how this worked anyways? So now go up and now use the store button. Supply! Okay, wait, wait. Oh man, this was going to be a long voyage. I sobered up and took the supply crate for safekeeping. Spunk begged for forgiveness, I granted Ocean's Atonement, and our quest began. I also have enlisted some studs, and his knowledge of the ancients will be invaluable for the veil of the ancients. We cannot fail, we must not fail. Amen. Hurry up to Plunder Valley. Old studs is not too proud to admit when he needs his help. I'll be watching my friend while I wait. Our first clue was sending us to Plunder Valley to have a chat with old studs. All we had to do now was plot a course for our adventure, which, uh, to be honest, it took some time. With our anchor raised, Mr. Silver took helm for the first time. Okay, go ride the whip. Let's do this. So that island up ahead, that big one is Plunder Valley. To the left? Yeah, the one slightly to the left. Yeah, that's Plunder. Skirting, Captain. <laughs> Skirt. Oh no, oh sorry, no, not that left, not that left, I'm oh, sorry. Though it wasn't the smoothest voyage, we had arrived at Plunder Valley. Us adventuring together is gonna go A-OK. -okay. It's really peachy beachy. And peachy beachy it was. Well, until we actually had to find studs. As the veteran pirate legend, I thought that finding studs would be a piece of pineapple cake. Well, this is where I thought he would be. And uh, turns out I'm not as familiar with Plunder Valley as I thought. Where the heck was Studs? There's just some old guy lost in this island. He just wandered out of the home one night. There's a dead bird over here. Does this bird mortal? Could it die again? I would never shoot Salty. We searched high and low, but we simply could not find the old geezer. Our mission was feeling impossible until my dang hard drive ran out of space right as Mr. Silver found Studs. Oh, he's giving us stuff. What, oh, whoa, whoa. Ah! That wrinkly old flesh bag put a new page in our book. Because his frontal lobe is rotted out by Golden Sands IPA, Studs left us with a dementia riddle to solve, a complicated series of cave paintings somewhere on a different island. It was our job to find the painting that didn't belong. This false graffiti would lead us to our first fail stone. We quickly determined that Discovery Ridge was our next island, so we left Plunder Valley behind. Let me know when to drop the anchor. Four, five, six. What? Seven, what? Drop the what? Oh, drop the oh, oh. <laughs> and so our hunt began. Fire me out of punching rod. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I made a mental note to work with Spunk Silver on his cannon skills later. Since we didn't know which painting was the false graffiti from memory, we began checking them one by one. Our first stop was a fish by the sea. Turns out the fish was legit. Our search took us across most of the island, but it was only a matter of time until we found our prize. Oh, oh, I found it. I found it. Look over here. Yes. Ron, you're a champion. I celebrated our discovery by putting silver to work for once. Why should I do all the digging? Oh, no. So you just dig on this this chest. Here you go. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 
Let's address the elephant in the poop deck. How is Spunk Silver new to Sea of Thieves? Don't let the time looted jacket and PL accessories fool you. Mr. Silver is as green as a swabby can be. And that's because, you know what? We'll talk about it in another video. We finally had our first veil stone. All that was left to do was slot it. Into the wheel. What? Into the eye Into of the this. Wheel. Into and this. Oh, okay. sorry, sorry. Ramsey got off his butt to bark some orders at us. <sighs> Turns out the next stone was in a watery tomb inside a ship graveyard. Okay, so our boys got <laughs> up in the middle of the ocean. We gotta go get the stone because they were irresponsible. Couldn't hang on to their jewels. Any sailor worth his sea salt knows you gotta find the gulls to find the treasure. I braced myself for a long search. My confidence had been shaken while looking for the first stone and oh! <laughs> Dude, the first thing I opened, I found it. Good. Wait, I died. what happened? He died. <laughs> While Spunk caught up with the ferryman, I unlocked the captain's quarters and snagged the next veil stone. It warmed my reaper heart to see Mr. Silver scooping the loot like a pirate pro. Even chat was impressed. <laughs> we needed all the good vibes we could get because the next chapter of our quest would be anything but peachy peachy. The conclusion to the Legend of the Veil vale voyage is where the stakes get intense. Infinite ghost ships attack while you try to send three gun emplacements back to Davy Jones, or Flameheart, I'm fuzzy on the wall. Once those are gone, you have to blast the main fort to bits until the Spanish ghost stops screaming at you. Before we began, I fired Spunk into the air to check for any ships on the horizon. UAV online. The coast was clear, relatively speaking, so we placed the Veilstone and prepared for war. Not Fortnite. Attack! Nice sailing, man. I had such a good angle. That port is out. We're about to finish the Legend of the Veil, vale, dude. We'll steal every Oreo from every fortress. We will cut every tongue from anyone who ate one of the Oreos out of their mouths that did not share with their brother in. Oreo will know my fury. Hasbro will know my pain. I think that's toys, but you get the point. Victory was ours. All that was left was to scoop it a loot and turn it in. Can I just say something? There were haters. There were people who said, Spunk Silver will never, ever accomplish Legends of the Veil. And look where we're at now. You're my sensei, you're my dad, you're my... What? You're my sensei. Ignoring that Freudian slip, we placed the final Veilstone and set out for the Sovereigns. After all, your loot isn't yours until you sell it, but it was nice to savor the moment with my friend. Do I look good with my gear, my loot? Yeah, dude. All thanks to my friend Ron. A pirate who barely could wield a shovel had successfully helmed our ship during an endgame quest. With some more adventures with me under his belt, I think he has great potential to live up to his legendary title. Want me to aim you? Or are you just gonna- No, I'm good. Okay, yep. A little bit, a little bit to your right. I got it. I got a little it. bit to your I right. Got it. I got it. I got it. A little bit. I got it. Did I ever tell you about the time we dug up dirt on the Sovereigns? See their secrets revealed in the video that's on screen now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next adventure.